football a never-ending dream? Yay or nay? Doria, what is actually happening in our football industry? Because the last time I checked, our national squad at FIFA is ranked at number 174 spot. Oh dear. And that is the all-time low in history. Hi, I'm Kisilia. And I'm Doria. And to discuss this very issue, we have two very special guests with us today in the studios. We have none other than, well, you know him, as mm -hmm. the face of a certain sports show. He's the football commentator, football pundit, and a former football player himself, Mr. Stanley Bernard. Everyone, applause. And we also have Mr. Christopher Rock, a former Paul. NSTP journalist. And a uh, PR practitioner yes, as well. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, so before we jump into our topic, yes. let's have a look at this clip. Okay, it's going to be a clip. <laughs> Wow. wow, oh wow, that was like yes. six years back oh, six during years back. AFF Suzuki Cup. A long, long time ago Yes, though. back then when mm -hmm. Malaysia won against Indonesia. That's right. And yes, Mr. Stanley, I saw you tweeted about this. You said that minus JDT has MSL improved Whoa. in the past six years. <laughs> so my burning question is, what went wrong in our football industry? Well, I think um, this is a result of uh, a very good project. It's called mm -hmm. Harimau Muda. Um, again, I think uh, Bukit Jalil Sports School has been the only school that is providing the talents. And that, for me, I think a lot of fans here were clapping. Uh, mm -hmm. That was a surprise because in 2010, we've never won the FF. We went on to win it. Okay. Yes. But if you go back to the age group, these boys, the same batch of boys mm -hmm. who were winning the Cups in 2010 in senior level, we're winning it in 2004, 2005, the under-20 AFF, the under-18s AFF. Okay, so, so, yep. okay. so we've conquered Southeast Asia. Now, I'm, I'm just going to put forth the million-dollar question here, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you think we will ever qualify for the World Cup? I think Stanley? it's too far-fetched. That is a problem right now. I think um, we're trying to aim so high yes. that we've not even gone to Asia Cup level. I think um, AFF was a good benchmark, coming back to the first question in 2010. Right. What have we done since 2010 and 2016? We've not evolved. Football evolves every day. What we do have you not think done went that. wrong? Why are we not evolving? Why, well, why are we me, taking too slow to evolve? Harimau Muda what was the project, main problem? Harimau Muda project lasted very well until 2010. Right. I don't think we improvised on it. We sat on our laurels. Once we won, mm -hmm. we said, this is working, we stick with it. We have to improve. I think uh, it was good while it lasted. We didn't improve with the Harima Muda project. So to answer your question, will we ever qualify for the World Cup? At this point, I would say no. It sounds no. too good to be true, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Christopher Raj, yes. you were once <clears throat> a consultant in Cardiff City Football Club for yes, two years. So let's say if you are in this position with our Harima Malaysia squad, what would you do to improve our Harima Mal Malaysia team right now? Well, I think you really need to look at it from two different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Firstly, you need to have a, a short-term goal and a long-term goal. Okay. Now, obviously, every Malaysian is upset that we are ranked 174 in the world. You can't run away from that. So you got to, you got to um, work on the short-term goal, and that's to improve the ranking. And then, obviously, you've got to have a long-term goal to ensure that our performance increases okay. as the time goes by, that mm -hmm. we play enough uh, competitive matches. Now, obviously, when you are... When you are working in Europe, the structure is different, the emotions of people are different, the facility is different. Okay. Uh, and then you come back here and you try to implement what you did in Cardiff back in Kadao or Perlis in Penang. Yes. It just doesn't work. It doesn't but that, work? It has okay. that people have the same mentality and same attitude uh, okay. to achieve Indeed, that kind mentality. of greatness. You yeah. said mentality problem. and Stanley said rest. We are resting on our laurels. Okay. Correct. Okay. But so who... who Okay, he uh, who mentioned is about to be blamed okay. over here. Is it the player or the coach? Kiss. I mean, we, we've talked about this before. Yes, in between right. player or coach, who should be blamed? Or maybe the management, FAM. No, I think um, yeah, you know, the, the yeah. FA of Malaysia is a governing body. They do whatever they can yeah. within the system and the infrastructure given. But if you go back, the football okay. development belongs to the 14 states, and everybody wants to have another JDT. 
looking uh -huh. at what JDT has done. You need to yes. have six, seven clubs like JDT to produce the kind of results that you want. That's true. But then again, the bottom line, it comes back to the players because without the players, you don't have a game. And that the players need to have that kind of mind frame, okay. that winning right. desire. Exactly. That you got to have that determination and the discipline to win. But if your passion yes. is greater for the club than the national team, okay. then you will always be 174. Well, that is so true. Because uh, for me, I believe that with correct management, for instance, JDT. JDT is a proof that with correct system and support environment, our local players can thrive. So yes. why don't we just use JDT and representing JDT as, as our I, new Harimau Malaysia? I, I still believe there is something that JDT has not proven yet. Mm -hmm. right. The current crop of players it's almost 50% or 60% of right. the same players from, yeah. the, from yes. the 2010. Right. That is buying players that already was developed by Bukit Jalil Sports School, Harimau okay. Muda Project. But the development is the problem, as Chris mentioned. Department. We're talking about not only players, but how much is the state FAs are doing to develop coaches. Because today, if you ask anyone right mm -hmm. here, if you're standard one or standard two, if you're being taught by the wrong things by the teacher, okay. that will stick for a long time. Old habits, they don't die. You can't change a player at 14 years old. You need to change players at 8 and 9. Yeah. Coaches are instrumental. We are not doing enough for coaches who are teaching the 20, 30 kids who I are at standard that. 1, standard exactly. 2, standard 3 exactly. in that. schools. Okay, yes. speaking As, about clubs. Yes. Okay, today in um, Berita Harian, today's newspaper, Jangan biarkan kelab bola sepak diurus bukan profesional. Don't let our club being managed by non-professionals. So but what's so you easy about this? your finger at, at managing yes. though. I mean, you know, you know, it's so easy for you mm -hmm. to just point your finger at FAM. But, okay, I'm, I'm just remembering this article that you wrote recently. Go, uh, go back to the schools, right? With any society, with any organization, maybe you've got to go back to the basics. I think the, the, the biggest, level. The yes. biggest um, problem with Malaysian sport is we have forgotten the school system. Okay, that's you know, it. And that's not football, huh? even but badminton, right? okay. cycling, every sport that's true. suffers schools, because... Okay. School has changed the perception. That's Today, right. academic has become compulsory, more important than sports mm -hmm. culture. Yes. So there is no, like you have your Majlis MSSM School Sports Council. Right. It is not as competitive as how it used to be. Correct. That's so true. you've got to correct okay. the school system yes. in order to produce champions. Okay, you I heard about well, this facilities. education, yeah. NFDP, yeah. National Football Development program Plan. which is led by our Lim Tiong Kim, our star player. So what do you think about that program? Will it um, produce another promising talent? But it is just one group though. It's no, but yeah. you, what do you think about it? will always produce some kind, mm -hmm. some talent mm -hmm. somewhere, but it is not good enough to solve Malaysia's football problem. Right. Every state yes. has to have an NFDP. That's you got to have players mm -hmm. coming through the 8s mm -hmm. and the 9s and the 10s and the 11 and the 12. But okay. I have to agree with you though. I mean, you have to go back to the schools. And this is where the education ministry, they need to work hand in hand. Correct. Yes. After all, Malaysia is our number one sport, I mean, besides badminton, yeah. right? right. Yes. So it reminds me of our Facebook status because previously, a few, few days this back, is interesting. I uploaded a status and there's one comment that is um, caught my attention from Hans. He said that, where is the spirit of Super Mop in our identity? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Mr. Stanley, where is the spirit we couldn't find these days uh, well again now the question is um, yeah. we lost 10 nil last mm -hmm. year September That's okay right. how many countries in the world would have would put out the same almost 80 percent of the same lineup exactly. after we losing ten exactly we, if we even lost to a team that Absolutely. didn't even qualify in the yes. end That's, the reason yeah. why we put up almost the same lineup right. there was changes the reason is because we don't have youngsters pushing the current seniors that's right. So it's nothing to do actually with whether these guys are, okay, are, right. are playing with a badge in their hearts right. or not. They have yeah. passed their best. Mm -hmm. But even their best is still better than the youngsters that are coming through. Very so that is the biggest yes. problem. Very it interesting. Me Remember of, we talked about uh, fresh, yes, faces fresh faces and the same faces. And it reminds me of you yourself. You are the yeah. only one Malaysian who representing Indian League. A um, few years back, and you went there with your own pocket money. But these days, <laughs> we don't see that in our yeah. current national players. So we are really proud of you, Mr. Stan, as a former yes. football player. That's wow. why we need to take a look at that. this. Uh, we've gathered a few names. Dream team. Uh, the dream team. Yes. And we need to credit our ball manager, actually, for this. Yes. What do you think? Christopher, so Stanley. this is what the riot thinks. Who should be representing our new Harimau Malaysia? Got so who do we have this here? A few promising names there. Okay. Saint Anthony, even yeah. your dear friend <laughs> from Negeri Sembilan. 
Uh, I think I think they've picked the most current informed players. Uh, looking yeah. at the current list, uh, the current players who yeah, are, who are know, playing well, they're doing well. <coughs> but um, then again, like I always say, you know, you need to you need to have the three segments of the national team. That's okay. You got to have the best of 32, and then another 32 and 32, and mm -hmm. then your base has to be broader. That's right. Our biggest problem is our base is very small. Yes. And then okay. when you throw in the net, you catch the same number of players. You know, and when injury comes in, players suspended, mm -hmm. and right. see, and you don't have the replacement, that's okay. and that's because our base is very, very small. Okay. We need to have a base like two, three thousand players mm -hmm. at playing top level of football to be in Asian Cup or even. So, the do World you maintain Cup. that schools play a major role? Yeah, of course. Again, it plays major in many from the things. grassroots. Yes. Okay. So, last thing, Mr. Stan, any one unsolved issue that you want to bring up? Unsolved issue. Yes. Um, I think it's down to development. That's why I'm looking at I mean, I touched upon it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think as much as we were talking about bringing players, unearthing players, going to every right. kampung and every end of the corner to bring out a player, we need a good leader, which yes. is a coach. Okay. And I don't think there's enough uh, you know, focus being put on uh, growing coaches as much as and, they're doing for and players. And perhaps if we introduce a better sports education in school, Again. we will not only produce good players, but good coaches as well. Two in one, yes. Two in one. And right. then how about you, Mr. Chris? One unsolved issue that you want to bring up? I think the biggest problem is um, expectations are high, but uh, our structure yeah. is not right. So okay. we've got to get the structure right. We're structuring we've back got to everything. get the foundation right, mm -hmm. and you've got to probably go back foundation, uh, foundation right. way Absolutely. and, and okay. build the house from the bottom. Absolutely. All right, okay. so development yeah. and restructuring. So That's actually, right. what I can conclude is we want to see a huge transformation in our football industry because we really, really, really want to bring back the golden new year, right. like what <laughs> happened in the past. Well, Slowly yeah. by surely, I believe that Thank that brings you, us yeah. to the end yeah. of the show. Thank you very thank much you and very thank much. you to our guests. Thank you for staying with us. <laughs>